Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about one of my favorite icons. So for all of my Hello Kitty lovers out there, bitch, we are sisters because I can sit here and talk to you about Hello Kitty all fucking day. When I say that I am obsessed with her, I mean that I am so obsessed with her. This is just a dream come true for me because I feel like now I'm going to be able to get to reunite and talk to all of my Hello Kitty lovers out there. I started becoming obsessed with Hello Kitty obviously when i was a little girl i'm just that hello kitty collector that will continue to give hello kitty my money because she makes me so happy like every time i look at her i just feel this warmth like all over my body it's so fucking weird right but i know you know what i'm talking about today i'm going to be showing you guys some of my hello kitty collector pieces that i have around my room she is everywhere bitch i am telling you um from lotions to skincare and also you guys get into this hello kitty long sleeve how cute is this this is actually from dolls kill collection that they just recently launched so i am going to be showing you guys all of the dolls kill items that i actually got sent from dolls kill i'm just so obsessed like i really hope that they continue to come out with more collections because i feel like this was just such an iconic collab so um yeah let me just go ahead and show you guys the pieces around my room please don't mind the mess it is a little bit messy because i am actually packing to head out to texas tomorrow yes i'm flying to texas to dallas texas i'm so excited because i have a friend that lives out there my makeup artist also lives out there and i'm actually going out there to get a custom grill so they need to get my measurements and you know all that good stuff okay so i have a few little hand lotions right here um this is from the creme shop this was their collection that they had of course i had to get my hands on this and we also have keropi right here this one is a green tea scent i wish they wouldn't have done green tea and i wish they would have done like maybe like a watermelon scent because you know when i see him i think of green and i think of watermelon but this scent right here is apple so yeah so cute she's picking apples and if you come over here in my closet i have a little hello kitty water bottle i just like to keep little accents like this around my room just to kind of add color i've never used this and i don't think that i will ever use this if anything manny would probably um drink from this because he likes to drink like from little cups like this He's such a cup lover. He loves cups and plates. Then I also have a Hello Kitty mirror. And this is actually from Impressions Vanity. And this does turn on. But I don't think it has battery right now. But I just keep it over here because sometimes I just like to switch off in between um, my mirrors. Okay, and then over here we have a little Keropi plush pillow. I honestly don't remember where I got this. But I feel like it adds such a cute touch to my room. Because uh, Kiropi is just so cute. like, And it's funny because I don't really know what his gender is. I'm assuming he's a boy. I don't know. He could be a girl. She could be a girl. Let me know in the comments. Do you guys feel like Kiropi is a girl or a boy? But I'm kind of leaning towards a boy. But it's so soft. <laughs> and he's just so bouncy. And I'm just like, why are you always in a good mood, Kiropi? Like, I, this is how I'm trying to be. Okay, if we come over here, I actually ordered this alarm clock from depop and trip out this was actually the alarm clock that i used to use in middle school and elementary she has a little limon slice on this side and the light turns on it has a little switch in the back when i found this on depop girl like i was literally gagging because this is what i used growing up so the fact that i was able to like purchase this this is vintage and it's so cute so right here this is the snooze button and i remember i used to always like press this every morning this shit is loud but it's a little teacup and you can listen to like the radio it has am fm um so it's really cute i also have this little um hot cheeto thing but manny already broke it because he loves playing with this he used to have like a little limon right here over here in my bathroom i have this hello kitty bouquet and i still do not know who gifted this to me somebody sent this to me and i could not get rid of this because you know like after you get over flowers you eventually like throw them away but these are are fake so obviously they're gonna last a long time the roses are fuzzy and oh my gosh she just looks so cute like look at her little muñito and then i also do have this uh barbie uh picture right here this is actually a collab that they did with glam glow barbie is also one of my favorite icons growing up 
I feel like I love Barbie just as much as I love Hello Kitty, but I mean, I se la llevan, you know, because I feel like I love them equally. But look at how cute she's, she's with her friends, like they're just hanging out, doing some skincare, you know, like how cute is that? And then also in my shower, we have some Hello Kitty in here as well. You know, we have to have Kitty in the shower. This is actually a little loofah that I was gifted. Um, from one of my friends and I thought this was such a cute little touch because when I come in the shower I feel like it gives it like if it, it gives it a vibe and then I also have my favorite Hello Kitty razor This was also a gift from her if you guys go on the intuition website They do have all the Hello Kitty um, Collections that they've had and I believe they have about five razors and they are all still in stock They also do have a little kind of gift set going where you get to buy all of them for a cheaper price than to buy them individually and then I also have some Hello Kitty um, sheet masks right here. I just kind of keep them for decoration because I don't really use them. Like how cute. She's like a unicorn right here. I've never really seen her as a unicorn. We also have another one. She's holding a diamond. And then of course we have Kiropi in the back. He's giving me... I feel like he's a boy. Like now I feel like he is a boy. Because he'd be switching it up, you know. Over here, I have this little alcancia, my little piggy bank that Emmanuel bought for me from Ensenada. So this is a little bootleg version of Hello Kitty, but we still appreciate her. She still makes it onto my little decorating bookshelf we have right here. And then this purse is actually a vintage purse that I got from Depop as well. So this first sweater is this super comfy, oversized knit kind of sweater. And she's kind of like squinting, like kind of like... Oh my god, it's fucking cold and, you know, a bitch is cold. It's giving me, like, sheep vibes, like, very... I just want to sip on hot chocolate, like, let's just go grab a pumpkin spice latte or you guys know that I've been, I've been so obsessed with the um, fresas con crema Starbucks drink. And I get questions all the time, like, how do you order it? How do you order it? It's really simple. All you do is tell them, I want a venti pink drink with sweet cream foam. That's it. It's so easy. So the next item right here is this leather jacket. This quality is just amazing. It's so heavy. It's like a bubblegum pink and we have some studs right here. They're kind of pokey but not pokey enough to where it hurts. On the inside, we have a Hello Kitty pattern. So if you guys look in close, there's a Hello Kitty pattern right here. And then on the back, you have Hello Kitty with a 3D bow. And it's really, really cute. I love that they did this little 3D bow moment because it's you could actually like feel her bow. You know, I really want Hello Kitty to come out with like a food line. I would like Hello Kitty to come out with chips or maybe some cookies. I can't see Hello Kitty chips because when I think of Hello Kitty, I don't think of salty. I kind of think of like sweet stuff. So... Oh my god, like I'm literally just remembering that one time. Oh my god, I'm getting emotional. I'm literally getting emotional. I've been so emotional recently, you guys. And no, I'm not pregnant. Uh, before you guys say that. But my mom... You guys, what the fuck? One time... <laughs> Hold on, I gotta get it together, y'all. One time my mom for my birthday when it was like when I was like in elementary school She brought me Hello Kitty cupcakes from Food for Less Because <laughs> Food for Less be having Hello Kitty cupcakes. I don't know if Food for Less has them now But they used to have like little cupcakes and it would have like um White icing on top with like a Hello Kitty ring on it And she brought cupcakes for me and my whole class and it was just so exciting because I got to eat Hello Kitty cupcakes so yeah, when I think of Hello Kitty, I think of cupcakes and, you know. The next piece right here is a uh, crew neck and it is a crop top. It's cut right here at the bottom. It's giving me kind of... Ooh, I'm so obsessed with this. This is really cute. The old English. That's really cute. This is giving me Hello Kitty chola. Latina chola. Like, she's from the streets. She's, she's hood. Don't fuck with her. And then on the back, we have like a goth version of Hello Kitty. Um, she's new to me. Um... I don't know her, but I, I don't mind getting to know her because, you know, I'm kind of scared. And she is also wearing a choker right here, so she's probably freaky in bed. That's kind of what I'm feeling. I feel like I want to go buy some Hot Cheetos wearing this sweater. That's kind of what I feel. The next top is so cute. I feel like this is one of my favorite pieces for sure, and I'm so excited to wear this. So this is a fur top with just a little cute Hello Kitty. She's tiny in the center. This is 
totally up my alley. The only thing that I will say about this design, you guys know I love to always show my titties and you know chichis out and everything. So I wish they would have like maybe done this in like a heart kind of shape. I mean, you do kind of get a little heart shape right here, but maybe like making it a little bit more deeper right here um, to kind of show a little bit of cleavage. This next piece right here is just a plain t-shirt. I don't see myself wearing this, but you know, I feel like there's somebody out there who might love it, but this is just a, a plain t-shirt with some mesh right here. So you are able to um, kind of see some skin a little bit, but this is cute. I think maybe when I try it on, then I'll kind of feel the vibe. So she's serving me very Esqueleto vibes, like very skinny queen. Um, and then in the back, she's kind of like, like being shy girl in the back, you know? This next dress, oh my gosh. I feel like this is my favorite piece out of the entire collection. Like at first when I saw it, I was just kind of like, oh shit, like I've never worn something like this before. And I'm kind of here for it. Like, I, I'm actually excited to wear it. I actually want to wear it to the Hello Kitty Cafe. Yes, I've been to the Hello Kitty Cafe. Don't ever. This is the dress. How cute is this? Like, it's a little plastic dress. And it's see-through. And it has, like, a zipper right here in the back. And I just love all these little accessories. Like, these are the types of, of like, artwork with Hello Kitty that make me so happy. This next sweater right here is a sweater with some chains right here so this is this is very a uh, grunge kitty right here it has a hoodie so you can kind of like bring this down um the detailing for the chains is kind of like a matte black there's some shiny right here black too and it's cropped a little bit more up here at the front than the back the back is a little bit longer and on the sleeves we also have the hello kitty um written out logo in a gray oh my gosh this next one is one of my faves as well you guys know i love fur it, this is a little black dress and this looks um similar to the pink shirt that i showed earlier it's the same design except in a dress super cute i feel like this is an item that a lot of people will be able to just throw on and throw on some little black heels a little cardigan on top or a little jacket. I love this. Black is just such an easy color to wear. And I feel like everybody will enjoy this one because this is one of my faves too. I think this is really cute. I can't wait to go to the Hello Kitty Cafe. Like I have all these clothes to wear. I feel like they're going to like look at me like, oh my God, like really bitch. It's funny because when I, after I went to the Hello Kitty Cafe, I told Manu, I was like, I really want to work there. Like I want to work there. I, I don't know why, but I want to serve the drinks. I want to give people the Hello Kitty experience. Maybe there's a way for me to work there. I don't know. I'm clumsy as fuck, so I'll probably like spill a lot of shit like i'm you know jittery when it comes to that but i think i would give the customers a very welcoming hello kitty experience okay so this next piece girl i mean if i was like india maria maybe you look i'm not trying to talk shit to whoever wears this you know if you wear it rock it okay this next piece is a <clears throat> skirt and oh my gosh this is one of my favorites look at how adorable this skirt is this is one of my favorite pieces of the entire collection just because i don't really wear a lot of skirts so i really want to like get into them and this is giving me very old school like remember back then when limited two was a thing and they used to sell skirts like this i remember i couldn't afford to get that skirt and one time like i actually bought a skirt like that when i was with my dad at the mall and i think we paid like 50 dollars um and then when i got home my mom was pissed and she was like you let your dad pay $50 for this skirt. She was like, no. She was like, lo vas a regresar. And I had to return my little skirt. I could never afford to go to Limited 2, you guys. It comes with four Hello Kitty bows right here. So two on the left and then two on the right. This is so adorable. There's a bunch of Hello Kitty faces on here. And I love the tool underneath here. I love that it's not too short either. And this is going to look so cute with medias, with high boots. It's giving me very schoolgirl realness. Um, and yeah, I feel like this has got to be one of my favorite pieces of the collection. So these next two pieces I would wear together. So I'm going to be showing them to you together. We have some sweats right here. And it has the Hello Kitty logo right here written out on the side. And then also the um, goth Hello Kitty as well on the right right here. The quality is amazing. They feel so soft, really thick material. So I really, really enjoy that. I love that it has the little um, strings right here. I love sweats that have that because um, when I eat a lot, which is all the time, 
I like to be able to undo it and just kind of like relax. And then when I'm like skinny again, I tighten it up um, to give myself a little snatch. And then this top is just a regular t-shirt with the same logo. The material is stretchy. The next item in the collection is this shirt right here. So this is just like a regular t-shirt. So on the front here, we have the um, Dolls Kill Hello Kitty theme right here. Throughout all of the pieces that I've been showing you, uh, we weren't able to see what she's actually wearing. And this is what she's wearing. So she's wearing some boots. They're probably Doc Martens. Um, and she's wearing a little dress. So she's girly, but she's punk. The next t-shirt we have right here is the sad girl one This is cute. This is cute. This is giving me very chicana very smile now cry later This next shirt is a mesh hello kitty shirt I love to wear mesh shirts like this because I always like to wear a bra top underneath So you could be sexy without being too revealing this next piece is a very at-home lounge kind of vibe I think this has got to be the sexiest piece of all when i have it on my nalgas do show this is really cute for loungewear if you're hanging out with your boo a dick appointment this is very dick appointment approved and i love that you are able to show cleavage depending on your mood you guys know i love to show my chichis but it's kind of like if you're gonna go see your mom or your parents like you obviously button it up all the way or if you're gonna see your man you know you you leave that shit open okay i was only able to get my hands on two of the shoes and both of them are boots these are um my very first pair of platform heels i've never been a platform heel type of gal i just love the detail of these boots because it, it makes me feel like i'm in the city this is inspiring me to travel to wherever this place is at i believe that hello kitty is japanese i believe that the artist is japanese who designed hello kitty you know that bitch is rich as fuck like where does she live is she still alive i need to do my research you guys like i'm gonna do my history on hello kitty did you guys ever hear about like hello kitty is is like from the devil because a lot of people are like jenny like don't like hello kitty because hello kitty is from the devil and i'm just like what the fuck like girl like i don't believe in that like i'm sorry like i'm gonna continue to worship hello kitty uh maybe it is then because i'm yeah. over here like <laughs> without knowing it's all like, you're over here demonic. hypnotized yeah i'm over here hypnotized fucking taking all my money imagine she's just a curse and the artist was just like this is the curse to make money it's all your soul to hello kitty well it's sold um i actually did purchase these because dolls kill didn't send me these and i just had to get my hands on them so this is what the box looks like so just in case you guys order some uh, some of the shoes from the collection this is what the box looks like so this is going to be perfect for christmas time so let's open them up you guys are going to die when you see these they're so cute so these are actually botas very bota vibes very vaquera and i just am so obsessed with the illustration that they chose for this boo um because it's giving me very hello kitty coloring book because she's out um there's a tree with apples in the back she's like having a picnic there's a rainbow in the back it just seems like she lives the perfect life and she's never sad the sun is out um, it's sunny as hell. There's an apple house. So I guess she lives in an apple It's funny because if you guys follow Sanrio and keep up with everything Hello Kitty Well, if you're watching this video, I'm sure you do and if you know then you know But they actually just recently started doing series where they bring Hello Kitty to life and it's a cartoon series and she's working at the Hello Kitty cafe and it's just so funny because I would have never thought like like I just I just don't know what Hello Kitty is like is she sassy is she a diva is she a bitch is she really sweet does she let people step all over her I don't know and I do want to know more so I really hope that they continue that series uh, because it's really cute so if you guys have time go on YouTube search Hello Kitty and there's a few episodes there so Sanrio I'm waiting y'all we need more episodes well that completes today's video you guys I really hope you enjoyed um, this Hello Kitty collectors kind of edition and if you guys are Hello Kitty lovers like me please send me pictures of your collection DM me on Instagram I like to see all the stuff that everybody has that I don't have or you know what if we could like trade some items all right so if you aren't subscribed to my channel you know what to do subscribe and turn on your post notifications to be notified every single time I upload a brand new video I love you guys all so much thank you for all your love and support and I will see you all in my next video bye